One week later... Oh, hey, Sandy. You just missed Stoppable Miss Weedybell. They sure have been visiting a lot. They've been worried. Apparently, school is quiet without me. I can believe that. Well, I finished talking with Dr. Stable. He says that if you promise to take it easily, you can come home today. Really? And I was just starting to be able to swallow the mushy green stuff. Maybe they'll let us take some home for you. I bet it'd grow into a new life form in our fridge. So, how's Lightning Blitz? He's been doing real well. He's a bright young boy. Seems happy wherever he is. I'm glad to hear that. You'll be amazed when you see him. Twilight has her hooves full taking care of him. He's full of energy, just like his mother. But I can see him right away, right? I promise you'll see him sooner than you'll think. I miss him. I know. Life's gonna be hard for a little while. For us both. Because of me, right? No, Scoots. You mustn't blame yourself. If anyone should, it's me. So, I want to make things right and do something I should have done a long time ago. Huh? You've been alone for so long, Scoots. And I was blind to the fact. So I want to set things right. But I can't do so without you wanting the same. These are your adoption papers. Completely filled out. They just need a signature. But I can't sign it without knowing what you want. So, Scootaloo, if you'll have me, I'd like to be your mom. <laughs> the birthing. End. Sometimes... Sometimes my hormones get the best of me, and I don't see things that are obvious around me. And I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm sorry about that. I really am. But I want to be here for you, even if you don't want me to. Because, because no one should have to go through what you're going through all alone. Ah. <sighs> Sleep well, kiddo. <sighs> ha! Been too long. It's good to be back. Good to have you back, Scoots. You look like you're doing well. AKA, you're looking good. Welcome back. So what have you been up to? Glad to see that you're back. I've missed you. So how have you been? Welcome back, Scoot. Everything doing fine? Good to see you again. How's it going? It's good to see you, Scootaloo. Did anything new happen? Oh, hey, Tumblr. Long time no chat. It's been like, what, two months? Wow, Scootaloo. You're looking great. Your mane is as long as Rainbow Dash is now. Hey, Scoot, how's life? Love the sweatshirt, by the way. Where'd you get it? Glad to see you're keeping your mane like that. Could put you on par with Spitfire if you ever try it for the Wonderbolts. I like the hoodie. I love your hairpin. Feeling better, I take it? Also, I really like the mane the way it is now. Oh, thank you. I wasn't gonna keep this look at first. But it's really grown on me. It makes me feel mature. Like I'm still a teen, but ready to be a mom. Though I guess I'm kind of young to be feeling like a mom, even if I am one. At least my birthday is in a few days. That'll help me feel older. How has everything been going with you and Sandy? Also, have you been going to visit Lightning? How often do you see Lightning Blitz? How's Blitz doing? Welcome back, Scootaloo, and two questions for you. How are you feeling in general, and what's your relationship status with your child? You're not gonna like the full answer. Though, there is good news. But let's...
let me catch you guys up on what happened these past two months. Back when I was in the hospital, Sandy was able to visit Twilight and Lightning Blitz. It seemed for the time being that we'd gotten him away from Jet Zed and Epicrest. But it didn't take them long to figure out we'd hidden him from them. Before I had a chance to visit him, we were summoned by the courts. We explained our case to the judge, and he seemed understanding. However, he feared that I might do something drastic and endanger Lightning's life again. So he agreed to let Lightning stay with Twilight under the condition that I can't visit him until I pass a psychological evaluation. He let us know that if we found any evidence that we'd gone against his word, that the consequences would be severe. Sandy is confident we'll win the upcoming case. She's got a good lawyer, and the law is in our favor right now. She's also been spending a lot of her free time studying up on equestrian law. So, I've been seeing a therapist for a while now, waiting for them to say I'm sane enough to visit Lightning Blitz again. She's been helping me out with a lot of emotional problems I've been having, and I feel a lot better because of her. I've actually got another appointment with her tomorrow. I'm hoping it's the one that proves I'm ready to see Lightning Blitz again. I miss him more than I've ever missed anything before. Don't worry. You will see Lightning Blitz. One way or the other. Thanks. I'm sure I'll see him again. I just have to be patient. How goes shedding the mommy weight? Oh, that? I lost it pretty easy, actually. I have an active lifestyle, my doctor says. So, just exercising like I normally do made me lose the pounds. Okay, you are back in business with your training, yes? Anything you need to catch up with? Well, I was behind on a lot of assignments because of my hospital stay, but I recently caught up on that. So, Scootaloo, I thought you said that when the baby thing is over, you were gonna kill Raincatcher. Do you have to bring him up? That sounds like something I would say, but no. I'm not gonna find him just to hurt or humiliate him. There's no point, and it wouldn't make me feel better. Even if he does deserve it. Are you looking to date any pony recently? Or are you staying away from boys for a while? I'd rather not date for a while. It's still painful to remember. Besides, everyone in town knows I got pregnant. To them, I'm just that girl that is easy to get with. I'm not gonna let myself be used again. Scootaloo, you poor dear. It must be absolutely dreadful to not be able to see your son. However, I must say that you have seemed grown up quite a bit in the past two months. I shan't think they will find a reason not to allow you to see him soon. What do you think will be the first thing you do when you can? And once you are older, will you appeal for custody? Uh, the first thing I do is... Is hug him. Hug him tight. And then I probably cry. And cry a lot. After that, I don't know. Just spend time with him? And I don't know if I'll appeal for custody when I'm older. Maybe. He doesn't have to live with me for me to be his mom, right? Though, I'd like it if he did. As a person who has yearly psychological evaluations, I can tell you that confidence will take you a long way. Remain calm, keep a positive outlook on life, and focus on what you want. You'll be seeing lightning bolts again in no time. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. What's it like having Sandy as a mom? Mom, I'm home! Oh, hey, sweetie. Dinner's almost ready. It'll just be a little while longer. Also, I talked to Psych today. Everything is set up for your meeting tomorrow. So how was school today? She's pretty awesome. Hello again, Scootaloo. Hey, Psych. How have you been? Anything happened since our last lesson? I've been alright. The only new thing is that Tumblr is talking to me again. I see. Are they encouraging at least? I think so. They haven't been bad. Well, that's good. Would you like to continue where we left off last time? 
I suppose that's a good place to start, if any. So, you've been thinking about Raincatcher again? Sort of. More like, just when I think I've forgotten him, I get reminded, and then I just feel angry, upset, sad, depressed. Because, because he hurt me, and he left me. I loved him, and then he left. Hmm, it feels you put a lot of emphasis on the fact that he left, more than that he hurt you. Why do you think that is? Because, because of my mom? Because of your mom? I, I don't know. When my mom died, she had no control over that. I realize that, but I miss her. I miss her every single day of my life. But Raincatcher chose to leave me. And... And? Lightning Blitz also left me. Everything I love leaves me. Is that what you think? I don't know. I want you to understand that your feelings are important, Scootaloo. Even if you feel like they are wrong, there is no such thing as a wrong emotion. I want to, you to tell me everything you've been feeling. Okay. You can start whenever you're ready. My mom died when I was seven. She fought with everything she had. But in the end, she died. And when she died, I was all alone. I was left to be taken care of by Sandy. And while she did a good job, I felt... I felt so alone. Nothing Sandy could do would reach me. So I acted out. I got into a lot of trouble for a while. I would be reckless, I would break things, I would look for trouble, all just so I would get dragged back home. I think what I was trying to do... I guess I was trying to get my mom to show up again, to be there to deal with me. But all I ever got was Sandy. I was just a lost little girl looking for her mom. And that helped for a while, but then every pony around me started earning their cutie marks. But I couldn't figure out my talent. Everyone was leaving me behind. I was lucky when I got to meet Sweetie Belle and Apple Bloom. With them, I felt accepted, and I was finally able to focus my trouble onto a goal. The goal of finally getting our cutie marks. But to this day, Nothing we've tried has worked. And after failing so many times to get our cutie marks, I met Raincatcher, the first boy who ever seemed to care about me. The only one who made me feel truly loved again. Like I was with my mom. And just like my mom, he left me. Left me with the knowledge that I put some hope into someone staying by my side this time. You really cared for Raincatcher, didn't you? I loved that idiot, and all he did was use me. Do you feel that if Raincatcher were to come back and apologize, you'd forgive him for what he's done? I don't know. You don't know? The logical thing to say would be no, right? I mean, he used me, and I believed him. I thought we had something special. I thought we were meant to be. I was happy with him, even if he was a little rough. Even if he loved me to show off. He seemed perfect. If he came back, he'd probably just try to use me again. I'd give myself hope that things would be different and then he'd just hurt me again. I'd just be abandoned by someone I love for a second time and it'd be my my fault maybe if i had been better if i had been better no one would have had to leave me now scootaloo them leaving you is not your fault you couldn't have done anything more to prevent them from i leaving. could have i could have done so much more all i ever did was stand around and watch as other ponies did things for me i've never done anything but wait for everyone else to do something if I had just been a better girlfriend, if I had just been a better mother, if I had just been a better daughter. 
Scootaloo, you need to understand what happened to your mother was completely beyond your control. The doctors in the hospital were doing everything they could for her, and you were only seven years old. No one expected you to do anything more than be by your side, which you did. As for Raincatcher, you said it yourself. He used you. You can't blame yourself for things going wrong when he was never committed to the relationship in the first place. And as for Lightning Blitz, being a first-time mother is never easy, for anyone. Adults will spend years of their lives planning and preparing to have a child, and still not know what to do once they have won. All things considered, the way you handled yourselves during your pregnancy was very matured for your age. You have nothing to be ashamed of from your actions. You're learning the difference of right and wrong, and you've come very far in a rather short amount of time. It takes them ponies years to reach the maturity level you have. <laughs> Thanks. I just... I don't know. It feels like it's the right thing to do. I mean, I know I'm still a kid myself, but I want to be there for lightning, so I have to mature. It's certainly a noble goal, Scootaloo. Though it appears our time is up for today. Already? That seemed like the shortest session yet. Time can certainly fly. Though I feel like we accomplished a lot today. Yeah, I think we did too. You have a shaved trip home, Scootaloo. It just, um, one question before I go. Yes? Do you, do you think I was good enough to see Lightning Blitz now? Now, Scoots, you know I can't tell you that just yet. You'll know when you can see him again. I know. I guess I was just hoping is all. Thank you, though.